Prior to doing the tasks described in this video, you should have created a GitHub account and a github.io repository, as described in the first video. Then, you should have downloaded, installed, and configured the GitHub desktop application and cloned the repository to your local machine, as described in the second video. In this video, we will create a simple web page using the brackets text editor. Then you will use the GitHub desktop client to commit and sync the web page to your GitHub repository. Finally, we will access the web page using a browser to make sure that everything worked as it should. You should have downloaded and installed the Brackets editor from Brackets.io. Begin by launching the Brackets editor. From the File menu, select Open Folder and navigate to the repository folder on your computer that you cloned in the second video. For example, my cloned repository is named userdemo22.github.io and it's on my desktop. The folder opens and you should only see the readme.md file. This file is where you can describe your projects for others to see. Double click the file to open it. You will see that it is now open on the right and listed under the Working Files heading on the left. In the file, type a simple explanation that this repository is an HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript website for a front-end development course. Just type the text. Nothing fancy here. Save the file when done. To close the file, put your mouse over the file name in the Working Files area and click the X. Do so now. Next, you will create a simple web page. Type the code that you will see in the video. Pause and rewind as needed. When you are done typing the text, save the file as index.html. Please notice that it is entirely lowercase, and then close the file. With the files updated or created, you are ready to test putting them to GitHub and seeing if everything worked. Open the GitHub desktop application on your own computer. You should see that two files are now listed, and at the top of the screen, the tool should indicate that two uncommitted changes exist. If needed, click the Two Uncommitted Changes tab. In the main body of the screen, you will see the file names on the left, and as you click on the files, you will see the changes shown on the right. Green indicates new, red indicates old. At the bottom of the screen, beneath the file names, are summary and description text inputs. This is where you indicate what type of work you are placing into your GitHub repository, an initial upload or an update to an existing file. The description is where you can provide detail if desired. The summary is required, the description is not. For now, type initial in the summary box and leave the description empty. This is very important. You must click the Commit to Master button next. Without doing this, the tool will not move your files to GitHub. Make sure you click the Commit to Master button. Finally, click the Sync button. It's in the top right-hand corner of the window. The button will animate while the sync is in progress. The sync button sends a copy of the file to your GitHub repository. When done, a new gray circle will appear in the timeline beneath the sync button. This shows a new circle every time you sync files. 
Finally, open a browser window and type your repository name in the address bar. For example, userdemo22.github.io and hit enter. If everything worked, you should now be looking at your web page as if it were served from a web server. Index.html is a default name that web servers look for if a different name is not specified. By naming our web page this name, we made it so that we could just type the name of the repository without having to include a specific file name. If everything worked, congratulations! You now have a workflow for putting materials into a GitHub repository for distribution on the Internet. If things did not work as described, double check each step shown in this and the previous videos, and if things continue to fail, ask for help.